In today's video, I'm going to be building a Flutter app with a design that one of my subscribers came up with. So you may or may not know, I have a GitHub sponsors profile and one of my tiers is where I will take your app design up to three pages and convert it to Flutter code. So about a month ago, I had one of my subscribers select that tier and I'm going to be recording and uploading the process of me taking that design and converting it into Flutter code. So here is the initial email that I got. Basically he says he works in a family owned convenience store. He's been building out a website for this for a couple of weeks and they're looking to build a Flutter app. So here are the specifics of the app. He says, I was thinking of building an app we can use similar to Square for cashiers, but with additional functionality so customers could see products we have in stock, order, and have deliveries completed. I guess Instacart is a good example, but they are mainly for big branded grocers as middlemen. This would be a dedicated for a smaller type of store that services one to two mile radius. So basically a food delivery app for his convenience store. And then in the second email, he sends me his uh, first draft of this app. So here is the draft. We have three pages, a shop page, a savings page, and a more page. And this page is pretty interesting because it involves a map. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is the app that we're going to be building in Flutter today. So let's go ahead and create a Flutter project. I'll run my flutter create command and I'm just going to call this food delivery app. And then let's open that up in Visual Studio Code. Now let me go ahead and open emulator for this as well. Okay, so I have my Flutter app created. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is build out this bottom navigation bar. So I have a repository of Flutter 25, and this was my Flutter course. And in here, I have a bunch of various code examples. One of them is bottom navigation bar. So I'm just gonna copy and paste some code from here. All right, there we go. Let me just clean up the colors and make that similar to the design here. So here's what it looks like now. I cleaned it up. It's just a plain white scaffold. And we have shop, we have savings, and we have more. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build out the shop page. So right off the bat, I see that we have this upper section here. And then we have this section, which is actually the same as the savings section. So I think I'm gonna create a component for um, this row here, and then I can just reuse that. So let me go ahead and create a new folder called components. And we'll create a new file, and we can just call this item row dot dart. And then we also need to create a model folder, and that will hold the data for all the items, so the image, uh, the name, the price, and it looks like that's it. Let's go ahead and create a new folder, models. And then we can name this file item.dart. All right, here's our item model, pretty simple. Now we can use this uh, for the item row. Okay, 
so now I have my item row all built out. I have my item model, and I also added an assets folder with our first item image. So now I can use this item row in the shop page. So right now, if I go back into main.dart, I have my three pages here inside of this file. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually extract the pages so we can better separate them. So we have an assets folder, a components folder, and a models folder. Let's go ahead and make a screens folder as well. Inside of here, I'm going to create a folder for each one of my screens. So we'll start with the shop screen. Make a file for that. And then I'm gonna copy everything from the shop screen, so right here. And I should rename this too. Let's go ahead and copy that and paste it inside of here. Then we're gonna to have to import that. So I'll hover over this quick fix and import it. Okay, it's now it's still working. Let me go ahead and import the item row. Okay, and now we can see our item row is coming through, but we need to edit this card so that it looks a lot nicer and also add the other properties on the model because right now we're only using the name, but we also have the price and the image. So let's go ahead and look at this card here and try to replicate this in code. Okay, so I was able to get a list view going vertically and horizontally. So we can scroll down like this and you can scroll for each item. So next step now is to build out the remaining part of this shop screen. Um, add these labels here and then also make the card look a bit better. So here is the final home screen. We have these this upper part up here, and then we have the list view inside of the list view. So you can scroll through and select what you want. Now, of course, all of these images and this stuff up here is static, it's all the same. And that's because ideally in production, all that information will come from some sort of backend database, so I obviously can't uh, do any of that right now. But the UI part is all complete and it's looking good. So let's move on to the saving screen. This is going to be very similar to the shop screen, so I think I can probably just uh, copy and paste um, this main part here, and we can complete this screen quickly. All right, there we go, it took about two seconds. All I did was copy and paste this file over to savings and took out the top part. Again, this text can be changed um, pretty easily, so I'm just gonna leave it as B. All right, so finally we have this more page, and this page is slightly different. Uh, what I'm thinking is I'm going to integrate the Google Maps API for the map, and then I can build out this UI down here. Again, the map won't do anything because you would need a backend for that, but we can at least put it here and put it on some arbitrary latitude and longitude.
Okay, so I was able to get the map to show on the screen. So the next part and the final part is to build out this part down here. Alright guys, here is the final product. So I finally finished this page and what I decided to do instead of just having this sit there all the time, I added this uh, floating action button where you can click it and then it'll pop up saying your order and how many minutes away it is. So I think that was a nice little touch. But with that, that completes this app. So we have the more page, we have the savings, and we have the shop. And again, without having a backend, this is really as far as you can go because there's really no point of changing the images and the names just to change them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, this design was because one of my subscribers sponsored me on GitHub. So if you want a video like this and you want me to build out your app and start that, uh, feel free to click the link in the description and you can check out my GitHub sponsors profile. That's it for this one though. I'll see you guys in the next one.